Hi guys and welcome back. My name's Chris and this is Robotics Gaming with the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order Let's Play Part 5 on PlayStation 4. If you enjoy any of this content then please feel free to like, subscribe and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. So we pretty much climbed all the way up to the mountain. We've just got this area to take on. Well, there's a lot of those uh, kind of um, goat beasty things. Um, so yeah, and I think we just jumped down somewhere. That's not too too low down. I'm just gonna jump down here. <laughs> these. I wonder if they connect. Um, let's just have a quick look around this place. I think we need like a double jump to get back up over there. Um, just come back here. Oh, something was in there. So it looks like there's like little cliff edges as well. Um, there's a big jump over there. Yeah, I just feel like we probably won't be able to reach any of this stuff just yet. Shot. 
Um, okay, let's try and do that again. Um, He's going to jump around all the time. Oh, okay. <coughs> Alright, where's my target? Is down there. Um... Yeah, uh, let's go for one more. So we'll get the skill up. We can go for this one again. It seems like you kind of, um, whenever you dodge them, you can kind of get a, like a three attack. Count These that. things are pretty cute. We've got a new terrarium seed. Um, okay, I'll just have a quick look up here, see if there's anything. Uh, that we can get. So it looks like we're meant to go that way. Yeah, and it's kind of like just around this area. Um, okay, so let's see if that strategy works for all of them. Yeah, so you, you kind of like, however long it takes, <laughs> so you go about a four second window before they charge again. seen a storm do that before yeah it's incredible I believe 
this to be the earliest Cepho site we've uncovered yet, despite my reservations. I cannot chase the Bagano vault from my mind. Its vision shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. of them down here. What about Cordova? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. See that? Ugh. Gungus. Avoid contact. Moving carefully around central pod. Explosive core may be utilized as a defense against other enemies. Skungus are parasitic plant-like organisms containing explosive toxic spores which may detonate when a threat approaches. Smaller pods burrow underground in clusters to comprise a larger central hive. Known for their putrid smell and soft brain-like tissue, various forms of this invasive species exist. Um, okay.
some good attacks. him from BD1. I don't care about that. What the hell? I was just floating in mid-air. Uh, so target's up there. Just have a little look down here. Whispers, a set of wind chimes left behind by the Zephyr who built the tomb. Zephyr meditation relic used in ancient rituals to train force users. Um, okay. Let's 
guess we just let it swing. We are hurting pretty bad from from those little rat things. Um, I never will this area. I think I'm going to take this guy out first. He doesn't seem like too difficult. Looks like maybe we can get to him before. Help! Stim! Guardian, strong, slow, and protected by a central power core. When glowing, power core may be removed with external force and careful skill, allowing a critical attack on the Guardian. An ancient auto automaton constructed by the Zepho is believed the Tomb Guardian's central function was to protect sacred sites, as detailed of 
Details of their ability remain mysterious. If encountered, one should proceed with extreme caution. Cold and indifferent, they attack not out of malice or defense, but from a program response to intruders. Known for powerful, unblockable strikes, they can prove especially threatening if limited area, in limited areas without space to dodge their attacks. Their primary vulner vulnerability appears to be their power core located above their central abdomen. Any disruption of the core should provoke a shutdown. So it looks like there's nothing uh, up this bit anyway. <coughs> uh, I don't know if I'm like, just dodging too aggress aggressively, whether I can just like literally just sidestep most of this stuff. Can we seriously not just jump up here? Oh, we can. Try and jump onto that rope.
Ugh. This lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs> Quickly check out here, see whether there was anything we might have missed. Statues. These statues were carved from the natural cavern walls. They depict Zepho holding spheres, possibly the same kind used to power their tombs.
Focus. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. <laughs> try again. Good. Continue. Push the ball before it reaches you. Faster now. Complete the test. It stands in the way, it comes the way. I did it. My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. The distinctive striations. It can only be a rosia tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarfel will know about it. Um... Influences from Kashyyyk. During his exploration of Zepho, Master Cordova uncovered a temple dedicated to the sage Elram. This ex exploration revealed further mysteries of the ancient culture, including their fascination with Kashyyyk, the homeworld of the Wookiee civilization. Curious to learn more, Cordova's path took him to Kashyyyk, where he sought wisdom from his old friend and Wookiee chieftain, Tafool. Sarcophagus. An ancient Zephyr sarcophagus holds the remains of Sage Elram. They were the first of the Zephyr to establish a relationship with the inhabitants of Kashak and love the planet's greenery dearly. Now their remains are forever interred beneath the roots of a stone Roshri tree. <laughs> that one. Um, so all these are available now. There is that, that, oh, there's quite a few little things in here. It's like, obviously, there's this way. Let's get back. Um, so I'll just get a look down these two little paths, um, right over here. Let's see where these lead us. I'm not gonna... God, I feel like I don't want to be there just yet, because there'll be no way back. Um, oh man. So I'm going to have to remember that when we go back. Uh, so I'm just going to 
Check out this other little area down here. What's it up there? Can we get back up here? There's this as well. Oh, okay, so that's the other side of that. Uh, there we go. This guardian was destroyed long ago. Tomb Guardian. A Zephyr Tomb Guardian. Powerful automatons that protect the tomb was destroyed here long ago. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what you just said. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. What's that be one? Like several material acquired. Slivian Slivian iron. Okay. Don't know if there's anything else uh up there. After this artifact as an offering to the wind. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason. I don't need to read that, it's already set up. Uh, okay, so with that out of the way. Gonna... Help me, BD! Nice assist. Um go back around here. Run back to this area over here. skills are available. Oh, we've unlocked some more of the skill tree. Brilliant. Um, let's just have... Actually, um, we will, we'll, get, we'll go into that in the next video. Um, I'm going to cut this one here. We've got to the end uh, area of this map for the story purpose. Um, yeah, the next video is going to take us uh, just unlocking the extra bits that we've got the skill for now and heading back to the ship. Um, and yeah, we'll have a quick run through the skills as well. Um, yeah, so thank you very much for watching this far and if you'd like to show your support for the channel then please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of this video. Thanks again and hopefully you guys will join me in the next video.